Welcome back, River Babes. I'm your host, Leanne Aguilera, and this is your Sweetwater Secrets preview show for episode 304, chapter 39, The Midnight Club, aka our super epic flashback episode. I'm young Alice, in case you couldn't tell. Now, I missed hearing your hisses and kisses last week since Riverdale was on a break, but I hope you all had a wonderful Halloween and are ready to dive back into all the G&G craziness. Now, today I'm bringing you an exclusive interview with the stars Machen Amick and Lily Reinhardt, spilling everything you need to know about The Midnight Club. And then I'm teasing you with my three clues about this time-traveling episode. Now, spoiler alert, this episode has some of my favorite Riverdale moments of all time. But first, let's take a look at your hisses, kisses, comments, and theories from episode 303, chapter 38, as above, so below. First up, it's Izzy wrote, hisses to everyone in charge at that stupid prison. Is it even legal to make inmates fight each other? And don't even get me started on the guards. Ugh. Nope, Izzy, not legal at all. But then again, the laws don't really seem to apply to Riverdale, do they? Now, it's Izzy also added kisses to Cheryl and Tony for being serpent queens together while Bughead is busy with G and G. Yes! You know, so many of you River Babes also sent kisses to Miss Veronica for acknowledging Shoni as a power couple, because they are. Who would you have lead us through the super dark times of junior year? Next up, Sandra Vallecillo posted hisses to Ethel for kissing Jughead. Was I the only one annoyed? No. I think we were all quite peeved by Miss Princess Ethelene's behavior in that episode. Is that why you guys are pissed? And Rogue Vortex 58 commented with a new theory and wrote, I think that the coroner started G&G &G with the parents and now his son is taking over. Who else could gain access to the hospital so easily and be able to provide the players with poison? Interesting theory. Now, I do think that it was really bizarre that they recast the coroner with a younger actor, so maybe this was done for a reason, or maybe not. At this point, I don't know what I'm supposed to make sense and believe anymore. I don't even know, but we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> Jessica Bowles wrote in and said, I think we shouldn't blame Evelyn just yet. We have no proof that she's bad, only that she's been raised by bad people. There might be a chance that she doesn't know the full extent of what her father does. Jessica, I totally hear where you're coming from. And to be honest, I'm loving the introduction of Evelyn to the storyline. I think the actress who plays her, Zoe de Grand Mason, is giving us the perfect blend of creepy yet intriguing. And like I said last week, I love to hate Evelyn. But I mean that as a compliment. Yeah, no worries, I totally understand. Lastly, Megan Kun posted, hisses to no phallus kiss. Phallus is the longest relationship buildup that started in season one, and they still haven't had one kiss. Ah, uh, yeah, that's lame. And you know what's also kind of lame slash interesting is it's looking like the first time we're ever gonna see phallus kiss is actually when Lily and Cole are playing young Alice and FP in this week's flashback episode. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but it's in the promo, so let's take a look. It was our junior year. Fred Andrews, Alice Smith, Hermione Gomez, Forsyth Pendleton Jones Jr. Welcome to Saturday Detention. Our lives were about to change forever. The world was a very different place, and we were very different people. So many kisses in just one trailer. Now, since our stars are actually playing the younger versions of their parents, it was a little confusing when I first watched this, but I spy Alice and FP smooching and Alice and Fred locking lips. Okay, Alice, get it, girl. And you know what? I caught up with both girls who are playing Alice in this episode, stars Machen Amick and Lily Reinhardt, and here's a little tease of what they told me. We discover in episode 302, <clears throat> when all the parents of Riverdale get together, which was so great to see them all in the same room, yeah. that they've had experiences with griffins and gargoyles beforehand. What yes. can you tease about what secrets they're hiding and what the Midnight Club is? So the Midnight Club was when um, we all were in detention together and they uncovered this secret game that everybody started playing. And it, it really takes you into a dark, twisted mental space. Mm -hmm. um, and then we ended up losing a life along the way. Dun, 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 dun. real fashion. That's what the flashback episode is, is the parents forming mm -hmm. the Midnight Club yeah. and how that came to be. And I'll be bringing you even more scoop from Lily and Machen talking about some spoilery moments during our next Sweetwater. So after you watch the episode, come back for that. 
But until then, let's see if you can crack my three clues about episode 304. Now, number one, Red Hot Rage leads one character into two catfights. Number two, there's a truly surprising lip lock. Can you guess which two share a smooch? And number three, the cherry on top of this episode is finally uncovering one character's cringeworthy family tree. And now we're done. Check back with me after you've watched Chapter 39, The Midnight Club, for even more scoop from the stars because I was actually on set for that episode and can finally share some behind the scenes moments. But for now, do me a favor and give this video a like and then hit subscribe so you never miss an episode of Sweetwater Secrets. And now, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think is going to happen in this flashback episode? Do you have any new theories about the Gargoyle King? And can you decipher my three clues? Tell me and I'll see you after the episode, River Babes.